As we mentioned in Lesson 5, you should always try to use high-quality images in a digital story. I want to use this PowerPoint slide presentation to demonstrate what low-resolution images look like compared to high ones. So if we go to the next slide, here's a, a map of the Earth, uh, and the image size is 320 by 206 pixels. And at this size, when we're looking at it in a relatively small window, it looks OK. But if we use the zoom function within PowerPoint to increase the size, you can see that as we do that, all of the image uh, detail is lost and the images become very fuzzy and blurred. So we definitely would not want to use an image this small, uh, 320 by 320 by 206 pixels in a digital story because you might add zooming or panning uh, to an image or even display it in full screen and it would not look good. So here's another example with double uh, approximately the resolution, 630 by 315 pixels. And again, when we zoom in, we can see that the detail is completely lost and it doesn't look good at all, even at that resolution. Next, we found a similar image that's 1,024 by 512 pixels, and that number looks pretty good, at least the 1024, but when we zoom in on this one, we see not quite as much loss of detail, but still blurred and fuzziness in the detail. So even a high number like 1024 by 512 is probably not good enough for what we want if higher resolution images are available. And if we click on the next one, we'll see that there is indeed a 2048 pixel by 1024 uh, pixel version. And if we zoom in now, we can see that even at its highest magnification point in PowerPoint, uh, we still see pretty crisp detail. So when at all possible, we strongly encourage you to look for and use high resolution images in your digital story. But let's take a quick look at how we would find these. So I'm going to minimize this, go to Google, and I'll type in map of Earth, and then enter, and click on images, and go to uh, the Google image search, and what many of our students don't know, and you may not be aware of as well, is that you can just mouse over these images and see the pixel resolution here. So, for example, here's one that's 989 by 518 pixels, and we know that's not a particularly good size for us, whereas if we come over here, here's one that's 1600 by 800. Again, the first number is pretty good, the second number not so good. We want to eliminate any... Uh, any numbers that are under 1,000 for sure, and higher resolution is even better. So if I come down here, I'll see 4,096 by 2048. So that's one that I probably would want to use. But to make it easier, Google has a search option, a search tool here, where you click on the search tool button and go to size. And instead of having the results be any size image that matches the criteria, we could limit our search just to large. And then we get fewer numbers, but if we mouse over, we'll see that these numbers are generally, generally larger than what we would find. But as you can see over here, we still have one that's, uh, here's an 1800 by 900. So uh, it's not perfect in this regard. So the best thing to do is to find one that you like and click on it and take a look at over here where the number is. Next to it, you can search by image. And if you click there, then come over here to where it says all sizes, and you'll get a display that shows you all of the copies of this image that are available on the web uh, for download. And you'll see that you can go down to a very tiny 128 by 64 pixels. Uh, you would not ever want to use anything on the low end, you'd always want to try to use one that's on the high end. And because storage is, computer storage is relatively cheap these days, uh, having a 4,000 by 2,000 pixel image 
is uh, not a problem. And so you could then uh, save this image here, or if you feel better about it, you can see it in full screen mode and uh, download it from here and do save as and get a copy of it uh, that way to save on your own computer. So we strongly recommend that you think about the resolution of the images that you are going to include in your digital story and try to use the highest quality available uh, when possible. Thank you.